Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited today the Ministry of Interior in the presence of Bahrain Defense Force BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. His Majesty was received upon his arrival by the Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and a number of senior officers and officials at the ministry. After that, the royal anthem was played. The ceremony began with the recitation of the Holy Quran. وما تنفقوا من شيء 
لها وتوكل على الله إنه هو السميع العليم His Majesty then met and greeted a number of senior officers and officials. His Majesty presented a number of officers with medals of honor in appreciation of their efforts and wished them for their success and progress. He expressed thanks and pride to policemen for carrying out their national duty and maintaining the kingdom's security and stability. He commended their ability to deal with various issues that affect the country's security as well as their abilities to throttle terrorist plots, chase down wanted convicts and perform their security missions with great readiness and professionalism. He also praised their cooperation and coordination and taking the lead through a proactive operations. His Majesty expressed his deep condolences to the families of the two two officers who lost their lives defending their country. May God rest their souls in peace. He commended the solidarity and joint action between the Ministry of the Interior and the BDF, the National Guard and the National Security Agency to perform their noble duty. His Majesty the King thanked the Minister of Interior and the Ministry's affiliates for the continuous development of the Ministry. His Majesty stated that the Kingdom will always enjoy security and stability and will continue its march towards development thanks to the efforts of its people. People. He asked the audience to convey his greetings and appreciations to all the ministry's affiliates and wish them further success and prosperity. For his part, the Interior Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his visit, which reflects his support to the ministry. He wished the King abundant health and prosperity and the Kingdom security and stability. Industry and Commerce Minister Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani affirmed that, that implement, the implementation of plans to facilitate investment for Saudis by opening an office and creating a specialist team for this purpose at the ministry to provide the necessary services and to guarantee the completion of the procedures relating to the exercise of commercial activities. This comes in accordance to what has been agreed upon during the official discussions in Riyadh yesterday between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Saudi and Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Interior Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Nayef bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The two parties discuss means of developing cooperation between the two brotherly countries. Within the framework of facilitating trade, the next phase will allow investors to invest directly in both countries through their investment accounts in their countries through mediums. The minister noted the importance of these steps and their effect on supporting the investment environment so as to support plans of sustainable development, noting the keenness of both countries to continue methods of collaboration, which would reflect significantly on reaching elevated levels of a core coordination benefiting the two brotherly countries and their citizens. Royal Guard Special Force Commander His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa has arrived in France to attend a joint exercise held between Bahraini Royal Guard and the French Special Forces. His Highness Sheikh Khalid commended the advanced level of bilateral ties in all fields nurtured by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President Francois Hollande, citing the two leaders' keenness on further consolidating these ties in the interests of both countries and people. He also affirmed France's uh, position of a beneficial expertise to share in various sectors which will contribute to opening vast uh, vistas of uh, cooperation and boost the friendship ties between both countries. His Highness Sheikh Khalid met with a number of senior French military officers as well as Bahraini Royal Guard Special Force officers. Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah launched today the Council's new online website in three languages Arabic, English, and French to be a comprehensive center for Bahrain's legislative work. The website is considered the first GCC website that provides all legislative details and information, including draft laws, proposals, and inquiries, in addition to a search engine into the official sessions, agendas, and Council's decisions. The website also provides an achieve achieving service to all uh, parliamentary work. The website has special pages for media personnel, researchers and visitors. The website also includes a space uh, for community participation and dialogue through visitors' feedback and suggestions, as well as live broadcast for all uh, the ordinary and extraordinary sessions of the Council with social media links.
under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The late Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa Arabian Horse Show concluded today that witnessed a large participation of horse owners from Bahrain and abroad. The horse show, which is held as part of the World Arabian Horse Organization, the WAHO event, was attended by Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation. The brief chairman, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and WAHO President Mr. Peter Bond, as well as members of the exclusive committee. His Highness Sheikh Faisal crowned the event owners, who demonstrated great competition and expressed his pride in the show's high level of execution. He also commended the efforts of the horse owners for their keenness to take part in the event, which contributed to its success and elevated the Kingdom of Bahrain's global reputation as a host of Arabian horses events. At the end of the show, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid exchanged commemorative medals with the Wahoo President Mr. Peter Bond. Mr. Bond reiterated his thanks and appreciation to the Kingdom for the remarkable success the event achieved, praising the leadership's keen interest of this event and lauding the efforts of the Chairman of the High Organizing Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, son of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, for his direct support of Wahoo.